So before we start, here's a short video. Count how many passes the team in white make. How many passes did you count, but more importantly, did you notice the moonwalking bear? In studies like this, lots of people fail to notice the bear because they're paying attention to other aspects of the scene, so in this case, the team wearing white. This shows us this process of selective attention, which is what my lab looks at. And this is the process by which the brain prioritises relevant information at the expense of less relevant information. So this is really important in our everyday lives. We can't process everything in the world around us. It's too busy and too complicated. So we need to be able to focus on some aspects of the information around us and ignore other aspects of the information around us. And this is what we're doing in an example like this. You're trying really hard to focus on the team wearing white, so you're prioritising that information. But this leaves you less aware of other information, so in this case, this causes you to miss the bear. So while this demonstration shows us this process of selective attention within the visual domain, we wanted to ask whether we could see a similar process within hearing within the auditory domain. And so the way we set out to test this was that we recorded um, an auditory scene in a special way so that it sounds three-dimensional so you really feel like you're sitting in the middle of the scene. And the scene consisted of two different conversations going on at the same time. So we had two women having a conversation and at the same time in the same scene we had two men having a conversation. And that went on for a while so that people could get used to the scene and, and how it was progressing. And then about halfway through the scene, unexpectedly, we had a man walking through saying, I'm a gorilla, I'm a gorilla, over and over again. And the question was, how likely would people be to notice this gorilla man? And would this depend on the part of the scene that they were attending to? So we played the very same scene to two groups of people. One group we asked to listen to the men's conversation and the other we asked to listen to the women's conversation. We didn't tell any of them about the fact that this additional gorilla man was going to appear, but we asked them about that later when they got to the end of the scene. We said, did you hear anything unexpected? And we were interested to hear whether they had noticed the gorilla man. And what we found was that in the group of people who were listening to the men's conversation, almost all of them, 90%, did notice the gorilla man. So this showed us that the gorilla was clearly detectable if you were paying attention to the right part of the scene. By contrast, the people who were listening to the women's conversation were much less likely to notice the gorilla man, so only 30% of them noticed um, the appearance of, of the man walking through saying, I'm a gorilla. And what this shows us is this process of selective attention. So because they were paying attention and focusing carefully on what the women were saying, and ignoring what the men were saying, this left them unaware of the gorilla man as he walked through the scene. This is important for two main reasons. Firstly, it showed us that we could see the same process happening within auditory attention as had previously been shown within visual attention. And also, on a more practical level, this has implications for real-world situations. So people often say to me, is this, a parent might say, is this why um, my son or daughter, you know, sometimes doesn't respond when I call them from somewhere else in the house? It may not be that they're deliberately ignoring me, it may just be that they're actually focusing on something else and actually they really don't detect me. That's definitely a possibility based on what we found. The other implication that we think this has is that if we can understand what makes it more or less likely that people notice unexpected um, sounds in, in auditory scenes, then we can use this to help design warning systems and alarms in such a way that they capture attention more effectively.